At just over two kilometer wide, the front or snout of Skaftafellsjökull glacier is where a 12 kilometer journey ends. The falling of a snowflake, compressing and joining other snow crystals to form glacier ice, then flowing down from the ice cap, sculpting the landscape in its path, deepening the already below sea level valley and eroding the mountains, takes centuries. For various reasons, people have long had to navigate the glacier terrain. The farmers let horses and sheep onto glaciers in earlier times to escape crossing dangerous rivers. Scientists went in search of answers, mountaineers in search of challenges, and more recently, guides with tourists looking for experiences. But the same principles apply. Cut steps, keep a calm, steady pace, choose the easiest and safest route. The old woman remembered wading the brown murky torrent as a child before the bridges were built. She remembers certain horses and their riders, those with unusual abilities when it came to crossing the cold strong current, carrying themselves and others safely across. She later lived beneath the big river, waking and sleeping to its constant roar below, that grew louder as outburst floods, or jökullup, brought about destruction of the land and soil. Now the big river has changed its path, grown smaller and been partly tamed, leaving a distant but soothing memory in her mind. Her farm on top of the hill also changed in 1967, when it became Skaftafell National Park. Her husband was the first warden, and the tourist population grew, like the forest below. Ice crystals melt and crackle in the sun's rays, while the mass below keeps moving at a remarkable speed of one to two meters per day. A thin layer of meltwater at the bottom is the foundation of what is known as basalt sliding, allowing the glacier to creep forward and destroy the landscape by its erosive force, although sculpting might be an equally fitting term.
the offsprings of a volcanic eruption and glacier, are palagonite tuff mountains and volcanic ash, the later buried in the soil and ice, where it appears as intricate patterns centuries later. The oldest ice in the glacier fell as snow centuries ago, long before the phenomenon was clearly understood. These snow crystals grew under growing pressure, became fern, and finally glacier ice. The near airless, clear blue material, more powerful than any solid force. Meanwhile, history unfolded with wars, discoveries, famine, feast, changing of political, religious, and economic systems. Through the Industrial Revolution, and its ongoing legacy of pollution. As the loss of glacier ice speeds up with warming climate, the implications of our actions start to trickle down to reality. Sorry, no. 